Hi, I'm meteorologist Mike Mahalik. Ever wonder why you break out into a sweat during the summer just by standing around? It's not because you're out of shape. Sweat is how our bodies cool themselves. This happens more often during the summer, especially when the dew points are high. Sometimes it can even feel hotter than it actually is. How does that even work? Well, we'll investigate that in this edition of Weather 101. When you think about summer, you probably picture yourself lying on the beach or maybe playing around a golf. But one thing is for sure, it's most likely hot and humid. A combination of heat and humidity can not only be bothersome, but also dangerous. So what is humidity? Well, in basic terms, it's the total amount of moisture in the air. When it's raining out, usually the humidity is high, about 90 or 100%. Now don't confuse that with relative humidity. That is the total humidity divided by the maximum amount of moisture the air can hold at a certain temperature. The two terms can be quite cumbersome. Dew point is the temperature at which water condenses out of the air. It's also an easier way for us to describe how humid it feels, especially in the summer. For example, a day in the upper 80s with a dew point of 65 feels sticky. Once the dew point hits 70, it's getting uncomfortable, and at 75 or more, it's downright oppressive. So why do we perceive a hot and humid day differently? Well, our bodies naturally sweat in the heat, which eventually evaporates. Since evaporation is a cooling process, heat is removed from the body and cools you down. However, there's more moisture in the air on a humid day. Evaporation of sweat is slower, your body can't cool as quickly, and you're left feeling quite gross. The heat index was designed to tie a dew point and actual air temperature together to achieve a feels-like temperature for our bodies. Looking at the heat index chart, when the actual air temperature is 85 degrees and the dew point is 75, it feels like a 94 degree day. Heat and humidity is a dangerous combination. Each year, thousands suffer from heat-related illnesses, and in some cases, they can be deadly. To avoid this, make sure you wear loose-fitting clothing and drink plenty of water if you're spending a lot of time outdoors. If possible, hold off on strenuous activity until cooler parts of the day, and remember to check on the elderly. For WeatherWorks, I'm meteorologist Mike Mahalik.